guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel movie genius so guys how are you doing i miss you all so much and i saw you guys last week guys my previous video is not it's no it's not going on guys please watch my previous video if you haven't seen my previous video the link of my previous video is in the description of this video please click on it watch my video comment on my video like my video and if possible share my video guys please i need uh, please guys give my previous video 100 views guys i haven't gotten 100 views on my previous video guys please watch my guys please watch my previous video if you are new on this channel welcome my new subscriber dun, 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 bell roll, drum rolling dun, dun, dun. so what i do on this channel basically i give reviews on movies any genre of movie your hollywood movie your bollywood movie your nollywood movie you can get it all on this channel and if you need me to review any movie let's say this movie is trend you don't know if you should hop on this movie you can drop it on any of on any of my video you can drop it on the comments and i'll gladly watch the video watch the watch the movie and give a review for you yeah so guys without further ado let's get down to today's business hmm. today's movie review is a comedy movie because while i was seeing that movie i was just laughing and i was just at some point i was just indifferent but before i start giving the spoiler alert for this movie so today's movie review will be tight so good dun, dun, dun. <laughs> palava yeah, Palava is a 2022 movie. It was released on Amazon. It is a comedy movie. It's a, co it's, a ho it's a Nollywood movie. A comedy Nollywood movie. This movie featured so many stars. We have Richard Mofedamijo. We have we have Richard Mofedamijo. We have Iyabo Ojo. We have Beverly Naya. We have Linda Ijeofo. We have Chinedi KDAC and like lots more of a lot of a lot more popular faces are in this movie so palava is a movie about a, a jazz singer yeah, a jazz musician osawanda osawanda was played by richard mfedamijo like I, I like to call him rmd he was a is a promiscuous man yeah he's a promiscuous father he got married to this, this wasn't really like stated the amount of people married to but one of us wonder is a musician is a jazz singer he has five daughters he has five daughters imade ini ehi charlie and Itoan. imade is his first child imade was acted the character was played by bisola she started working with us wonder when she was 24 she stopped she kind of like post her life for him she became his personal assistant like his right hand man any business he does he comes through her she, she like she's the one that like sees to the business if they should go this way or not she can she basically runs his whole music empire for him so yeah she started working with him when she was 24 she stopped school she wanted to go for masters she stopped and she started working for her dad she continued working for her dad so we have Ini. Ini was played by Elin Daijo. For Ini, Ini is, a, is an engineer, a very stubborn one at that. She likes to, not like she likes to, but she's just all the She's the kind of person that she likes to stand for a ride. She does not really take nonsense. She's, she's very stubborn. And we have Ei. Ei was played by Beverly Osu. Beverly Osu, Ei, sorry, Ei is also a singer just like her dad she just started off her singing career she's still like growing into the business but she took over from her father she's also she took over from her father in terms of singing and music so charlie charlie beverly charlie was played by beverly naya charlie charlie was played by beverly naya she is a journalist she okay also i wonder wanted to clock 60. so charlie was the one in charge of charge of documenting the old the old documenting documenting his music about the family so now charlie was given 10 million naira to carry out this documentary and it's kind of like made the other children they were not happy about it imadi was pissed and she felt like 10 million naira was too much for a documentary but i wonder if someone that is very he spends lavishly and he felt like 10 million was okay for her why is one the last child she did what she does for a living wasn't really stated because she had a boyfriend Malik which was played by Neo. So they were always working hand to hand, they were always together in a lot of sense. So now also I wonder 
he's a he's a promiscuous man, father. He's a promiscuous man. He likes women. He has like so many wives, but one of his wives that he really loved so much was Hajara. He loved Hajara so much. But Hajara left him and got married to his producer, his, his producer and his friend Bayo. She left him with the kids and like she went over with her. So it's kind of like broke him, but he continued with his business, continued singing. So at some point. His business ran down. At some point, he, at some point, he had like crisis in his music, so it was not quite popular. So years after, that was when a TikTok video came out. It went viral. Then people started coming back for him. Like people, people knew him because initially a lot of people didn't know him because of his because of his music career went down. So after the old viral TikTok video, after the TikTok video went viral. A lot of people knew him and like he started having like so many deals, so many endorsements, just like everybody wanted to work with him. Then he came back into the limelight. So now he had a so his daughter in my day had a personal assistant. <coughs> oh man. So after he had an he because along the line was someone that had a attack, but he but he survived for me. So like I said, he's a promiscuous man. So he had an affair with Omar. So Oma said he got her pregnant and she gave birth to a child. So she started like started. So now it was trending. Everybody wanted him. So now it's now was like a booming time for his career and she wanted to take advantage of it. So he was giving her money to like cover up for it. So his two daughters, Ini and A, they didn't believe the child was his because she gave birth to a boy. So they went for a DNA test and DNA discovers that discovered that the child was child the sperm was his but the mother wasn't Omar. The mother was a uh, maid that was taking care of the baby because that like, if she gave her a sperm to do a natural a natural insemination on herself so she got pregnant and she gave birth to him. So she just wanted to so Omar wanted to feed on him. So now there was a woman and TSA there was a lady and TSA was played by mom she was was her wonder sister. So when she saw that Oma had a son now, so she now so she told Oma that they should go to meet all these spiritual people that give um, charm, so that they would give charm to us. I want to say we get married to her. So the charm went bad. The, the charm woman didn't want to give them a charm. They, they stole one. Then they went out on his sister's bed. So I want that sister bed. That was how Oma and Auntie said put in the charm. On the, in the, inside a black soup, and that black soup was a general for everybody, so that was how everybody ate it. So I wonder, ate it, Imadi ate it, Ajara ate it, Ajara, that is his wife that ran, ran off with Bayo, his best friend. So she ate it, and they had an out, so they had sex. And Bayo was really angry, he came, he wanted to beat up us, I wonder, because, like, because of what Oma had done. Well, so many things happen in this movie, guys. Like, and the movie for me is a comedy movie. Like, so many things. But before I start, before I give my reasons for this movie, so now Itoma, the last child, Itoma, on the other hand, she did a business which didn't go successful. So her boyfriend Malik advised her that they should kidnap us. I wonder that they should kidnap him so that they will ask for ransom. Then, since now the father is kind of like having the money, money is coming in, it's getting to a big time in his business career in his music career he's getting into his prime so she I told him that they should so he told her that they should kidnap him and there's this guy big t big t was like teenage kz kdz so big t told him that okay fine you come for the sister's birthday then from there they'll take they will kidnap him so the sister's birthday came now tonight that was when Bayo came, wanted to beat us around us. So that was how Big T came with a gun and everybody like told everybody to calm down. Then he, then he said now that this time I didn't want to take us around us. I wonder does not have money that he wants to take because Boss Cola, Boss Cola, they were after us around that they wanted to like work with him. So he said they was going to kidnap Boss Cola. Already, he told, her, I told him I did the previous day what, what, what was happening because like she didn't have the mind to kidnap her dad. So he might be, had already teamed up with the Aloja. They made that they met a time. So the like, Aloja brought her boys and they when the boys came, they took BT and they left. The movie is a really funny movie guys. Like <laughs> I I was just laughing all through all throughout the movie. It's a comedy movie. It's a comedy movie and my ratings for this movie 
Dun, dun, dun. Okay, guys, I'll rate this movie 5 over 10. Yep, yep, 5 over 10. Because you know, like all these movies where they just bring so many, so many popular faces, and 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 you feel and you think that okay, the storyline might be like so, 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 so major, like you really like it. So it will be like a heavy storyline. So the storyline of this movie is just flat for me. I feel I felt like the movie was just a cruise movie. It was all fun and game. Even us, I wonder's behavior. It was not a serious person at all. It was too laid back. Just acted anyhow. And like his children, they didn't really state how many wife he got married to, but we knew that Ajara was the one that he loved so much. But Sawanda's character was just was just all fun and game for him. Which didn't really, which was fine. There are people like that, but it didn't really like make so much sense. And Imadi was like too serious. She had to stop her life for Sawanda, but and she was not even happy. But she kept on thinking because of her father. So I felt like it didn't really like give the children so much to, so much to always come back for him. But at the end, they still family, still family and love still prevailed at the end of it all. But it was all funny for me. Even Big T. When when Big T comes the movie though there's this sound they build up like Big T and I just feel like it was so unnecessary in the movie. So yeah, five over ten for me. It was not I don't want you to expect too much. I just want you to if you have seen if you if you are going to watch this movie, just have the mindset that you're just going to come to this movie and just laugh your ass out because at the end of it all there's really no strong storyline. The fact that your lodger came with her boys and they took over Big T funny he also had a lawyer the lawyer it was played by Gideon okay he didn't really like this so much he was he was not really so just a to me it's just it was just all uh, it's just a cruise movie to be honest yes it's just a cruise, cruise movie they didn't really tell us how many wife he got married to they didn't tell us why Ajara left him although at first she left him because he was a promiscuous man he has like he was always getting married to too many women and also Bayo and Ajara. I don't know why they waited so long because like she needed a divorce from him. So I don't know why they waited so long to get the divorce. So yeah, and yeah, that was it guys. So five over ten for me. So guys, please watch this movie. It's a comedy movie. I sure you will laugh. And at some point you might not really laugh so much. You might get bored of the whole everything, the whole thing, the whole shenanigan in the movie. But notwithstanding, watch the movie if you want to laugh at least to cool yourself from all of the emotional stress going on. So guys, yeah, please like this video, give me a thumbs up for this video, comment on my video, share my video, and tell me what you feel about this video. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, guys, please subscribe to my channel. So yeah, and please guys, my previous video gave me to 100, oh, I'm sorry, gave me to 100 views, please. So yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, bye.